Welcome back to the shed. This is going to be a very short video just on the updates of my DB10 lathe and uh, the not very uh, ethical manner in which I achieved my results. So I'll show the two components uh, that I've just machined um, and you can see what my results are. After my somewhat unorthodox method of uh, realigning uh, the headstock of my uh, Chester DB10 lathe, uh, this is the result. Uh, as a test piece, I've done a cylinder. It's 22 millimeter internal diameter uh, by 30 millimeter deep, and I've turned that. To the numbers on my DRO uh, and it measures as best as I can with this uh, to what we can see there can't see whether we can see it but it does read zero so that is 22 millimeter but then because the, the problem I was having was was with not parallel cuts I was getting a taper on everything I machined so then I uh, machined that which is one hundredth under 22 millimeters and this is the result no trickery how can we show that best with compression and I've never been able to do that so I've got rid of my taper completely it has compression and that's without any lapping uh, the only thing I did was I used a bit of scotch pad just after I'd finished machining just to make sure I hadn't got a, a lip on the end of there or a lip on the end of there no excessive polishing has been done no lapping in, nothing. This is just as they've come off the machine. And that to me is absolutely perfect. As you can see, it has got compression. Which is <laughs> absolutely astounding. So there we go. Um, measuring the internal diameter, there's two ways of doing it. Once this is a more on right internal uh, micrometer and the other way is using one of these. Both give similar results. I'm afraid my internal uh, measuring capabilities are somewhat lacking. Um, I did notice immediately that I could get this to slide up and down the bore which was encouraging because I've never been able to do that before. So that's it. Success he says. We can now mach go ahead and machine pistons and cylinders with no problem. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Let's be fair, a machined fit, no lapping, no polishing, no emery paper, nothing, straight off the machine and I couldn't be happier with that. Right, 
Well, as I said, this was going to be a short one, and as you can see, uh, I've, to me, I've had astounding results. I can now machine parallel, which obviously is the basic operation of any lathe. Uh, but uh, for a long time, I've been suffering with this uh, taper of up to, what was it, eight or nine tenths. Uh, and I've got that down to nothing now, because as you saw, I have solved the problem. <laughs> I can make pistons and cylinders again. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you like and subscribe and comment. Uh, but that was a genuine test. I haven't done any trickery. In fact, I'm not capable of it. <laughs> so bye for now.